podcasting from the Brooklyn Bridge Pier Park, Pier Number Two. This is the Brooklyn Baritone Podcast. Morning, afternoon, evening, or nighttime. I very much appreciate your continued support and checking out my podcast and my content. Today, I'm definitely going to talk about something that I am directly involved with. I'm going to talk about accountable influence. You're going to get to the gist, or I'm going to get to the gist right now. I like to start off with saying you need to allow Elohim, our creator, to resonate with you so that you can resonate with him. It's all about character. All right, speaking about accountable influence today, we know that we are bombarded with all types of social media influencers in this world. This this great, fantastic age of information technology and social media and all these devices and smartphones and platforms that people use to get their point across. Well, there's some accountability that goes along with that. There's going to be some things that I share with you from a website as I usually do my research before I come and brought podcasts in front of you. Okay, this is taken from the source of entrepreneur.com. Users are being forced into a sensationalized publishing media environment. This attention-seeking behavior has left people vulnerable to dangerous propaganda and influence campaigns, without a doubt. The platform is also being taken to task for allowing hate speech from extremist politicians. Now that article goes into way more detail, but I only wanted to go over a couple of snippets here that basically is gonna drive this point home, what I wanna talk about. Well, like I said earlier, it's well known that people are all over social media, but people make a living. Everyone just about knows that who has a smartphone nowadays. But being the fact that social media content, whether what what platform do you use, whether it's Instagram or YouTube or Facebook, uh, this creates an incentive to capitalize on certain content and even capitalize on certain narratives. See, now more than ever, it's a never ending quest to garner more and more views likes, follows, and subscriptions. And when you're out there chasing the bag, basically, that's what it does. It makes for a highly competitive and saturated platform. So a lot of people, they do what they need to do to get your like, to get your attention. It all goes back to basic psychology. I talk about it in past podcasts where everything about you, psychology, marketing, people spend billions of dollars to garner your attention. If you can remember or go back to my podcast, Are We Entertained? That's basically the gist of it, to get your attention. Remember, the word entertain basically to pull you in and to hold you there. And everything, I could get entertainment or having certain content to grab your attention, but how is it getting garnering your attention? How are these things actually uh, going to help you? Do they help you? Or are they basically feeding off of certain energies out there? But let's go forward with my podcast. Well, the problem with this formula is that many influers, influencers and channels, they cater to generating and promoting negative content and energy based on an audience that shares their views. Uh, I, the reason I made this this podcast and the reason I do what I do and this specific episode as well is that I want to go and take a look at a lot of the negative content that's out there. There's more than enough. There's a lot of things that where people are actually very helpful. You have a lot of fitness instructors. You have a lot of people who teach you how to eat properly, eat properly on a budget. We have a lot of beauty channels and influencers out there. We have people who want you to get your finances right, people who want you to get your spiritual life right, who want you to get your character right. I'm more along the lines of trying to get your character right. But on the other side of the spectrum, where people look to do whatever they possibly can to get your attention, because the unfortunate part is that your attention 
the more they can get from that, the more money they can get from that. The more recognition from sponsorship, the more recognition they can possibly get with actually getting more foothold financially or having a little bit more status added to their persona. And that's always the age old problem with capitalism being left unchecked because people now substitute money for character and actually sympathy and empathy and compassion for others. Now, even though I would love for my subscription count to go up, my viewership to go up, my web traffic and my social media traffic to go up, I understand that I have a responsibility. As a matter of fact, I understand that all of us have a responsibility to be constructive and to be positive with our influence. We have a whole lot of people out there who are definitely positive, but then there are a lot of people who are negative. There are people who deliberately utilize their channel to promote negativity. Now I can get talking about specific problems that we have as a society, culturally, financially, as a nation. It's one thing to bring about the problem. Now, what are you actually doing to bring about a solution? You know what they say. If you're not part of the problem, if you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem, as you heard from my last podcast. It's our responsibility to have dominion. I constantly say that we need to be accountable for what we say and we do. Whether you believe in it or not, our creator intended for us to have dominion. Dominion means to take care of everything that you survey. Everybody you see, every piece of land that you see, everything that you touch, everything that you influence. We are responsible for making sure everything is in the best form and, and status it possibly can be, as opposed to just looking out for you and your own. We're all supposed to be our own. That's the whole basis for many people they reject that and they resign to the idea of cash rules everything around me. You already know how that song goes from Wu-Tang. Now see, if I cover an issue, which I have many times before, I'll identify the issue because when we have an issue, it's a problem. And the best way to resolve a problem, the first step is to identify that there's a problem. Second, come up with a proper course of action. Not what you feel you want to do in your heart because people can't just go off of their feelings. Feelings change all the time and many people regret what they do based off of their feelings. And then the third part after the course of action is to actually execute that. So we have problems. We have infidelity problems in, in my usually black communities. We have a lot of problems with single mothers and not just the black community. Let me make that clear. That's across the board all over the world. We have problems with people who don't know how to deal with their finances. We have problems with corruption. We have problems with police not being held accountable for what they're supposed to be doing to protecting people. We have problems with pollution. We have problems all over the place. Now we could beef and bicker. Of course, you're gonna vent, vent. You have every right to be upset with something that's not right with your, your life or the world around you. But what are you gonna do about it? Are you going to actually do your best to make a proper change? And if anything, I know I would like to always bring something to the table for someone to inject into their lives because I'm talking about things from the things I experienced, the things I've studied and things I've dealt with. And it may not be the most popular idea for certain things, certain solutions, but you have to have humility to see what the problem is, not be part of the problem. So I take immense responsibility to make sure whatever I speak, it's constructive. I take immense pride in hopefully being able to, if anything, at the very least, be able to at least have a good listen. Even if I may not influence people the way I wish to, I hope that at least it's a good listen when I make sense and it's solid and it stands the test of time. I don't want to be the flavor of the month where I'm talking about black people and the ill wills of that of that culture. I don't want to talk about the ill wills of white people. 
and the bad part of their culture. I don't want to talk about the straight pre police brutality. I don't want to talk about democratic stuff. I don't want to talk about Republican stuff. Where people, first and foremost, before you put on that uniform, where people, first and foremost, before you join any kind of political party, your people, first and foremost, before you even you even go to another place to even criticize anyone else, your people, first and foremost, before you even get into a relationship. You understand what I'm saying? It goes way deeper than just getting likes. And unfortunately, people see getting likes as being successful. There are a lot of people who are agitators. There are a lot of people who stir the pot. There are a lot of people who are very abrasive, inflammatory, and toxic. They don't do anything to help anyone whatsoever. All they do basically is pander to their audience's fears, to their anger, to their anguish. And that does nothing for no one. We have to try our best to always be constructive and positive wherever we are. Even if there are people who we may not even physically be close to, I want to be able to, well, we all should be able to be someone to positively influence someone. What are you doing? to help build yourself up. We have to have accountable influence. And you could always guarantee that I will always be an accountable influence. I will always make sure what I say and what I do when I represent is building people up, not tearing people down. Anyways, you could always check my accountable influence content at my website which is www.brooklynbaritone.com. You can always check me out and make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, Brooklyn Baritone. I am also on Instagram. Make sure you follow me and Facebook. Follow me there too. You can check out my content, my podcast on the Google Play Store and the Apple iTunes Play Store. Anyways, hopefully that was a good earful or too much. I'm trying to keep these things short and sweet. I want you guys to be blessed. I'm always thinking about all of you out there. I want you guys to make sure you walk good. Be safe out there. We're still in the Rona. Uh, you'll hear from me next week. Have a great day. I'm going to enjoy this day out here. It's beautiful. Be good.